Hi everyone. Let's quickly simplify what we have here. First of all, I want us to do this um in as much as simple as possible. Now, this is 108. Let's try to factorize it. 2 can divide this to give us 54. 2 can divide this to give us 2 to remainder 1. That is 27, right? Now, 3 can divide this to give us 9. 3 can divide this to give us 3. And 3 can divide this 3 to give us 1. So that simply means that 108, we can rewrite 108 as square root of 2 times 2, which is 4, right? All right. Now, multiply by square root of 3 times 3, which is 9. Then multiply by square root of this 3 that is remaining. Okay. That is it for root 108. Now, let's try to factorize root 81. Well, that is easy. Root 81 will give us, we all know that 9 times 9 is 81, right? So, it's going to give us plus root 9 times root 9. Okay. So, this is what we are going to have. Now, divided by, so we are going to have the same thing here. Square root of 4, multiplied by square root of 9, multiplied by square root of 3, plus square root of 9, multiplied by square root of 9. Okay? Now, we know that root 4 is the same thing as 2, right? So, we have 2, multiplied by root 9 is the same thing as 3. So we have root 3, okay, plus this place we have root 9, we give us what? 3 multiplied by root 9, we also give us 3 again, okay, divided by, so the same thing is what we are going to have here, root 4 is 2, multiplied by root 9 is 3, we are left with root 3 here, alright, sorry, this is minus, the denominator is minus and not plus here. Thank God I realized on time. So this is minus. This is minus. Okay. All right. Now minus. We are going to have the same thing here. Square root of 9 is 3. And square root of 9 is 3 as well. Now this is equal to. Um, we look at this. This and this. We can factorize 3 out. Right. So let's factorize 3 out from the numerator. If we do that we have. When the whole of this is divided by 3, we have 2 root 3 remaining. 2 root 3 plus, when this is divided by 3, 1 we can see when we are left with only 1 3. Alright, divided by, now in this case we have 3 as well. 3, open bracket, 2 root 3, 2 root 3 minus 3 this time around. Okay, now 3 will divide itself and they are gone and we are left with 2 root 3 plus 3 divided by 2 root 3 minus 3. Now, let us rationalize. Now, when you want to rationalize the denominator of a sort, you are going to use the conjugate of that denominator. Now, the conjugate of 2 root 3 minus 3 is 2 root 3 plus 3. So, you are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this denominator. So, to rationalize, okay, let us rationalize. So to rationalize, we are going to have 2 root 3 plus 3 divided by 2 root 3 minus 3 multiplied by 2 root 3 plus 3. Okay, divided by 2 root 3 plus 3. All right, so if you look at the numerator, you can see that we have the same thing as our, you know, as our numerator. It's just like saying A plus b squared that is our numerator and a plus b squared using our algebra identity is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared okay now for the denominator we have this and this they are conjugate of each other and this is difference of two squares yes that is when you have a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So that is exactly what we have as our denominator. So that simply means in this case, in the whole of this case, our a is equal to 2 root 3, okay? And our b is equal to 3. So that means that we can write the numerator or we can write the whole of this as, okay, let me bring them together first. So this is same thing as 2 root 3 plus 3 multiplied by 2 root 3 plus 3. Oh, you can see that. 
all right now divided by for the denominator is 2 root 3 minus 3 multiplied by 2 root 3 plus 3 so divided by 2 root 3 minus 3 multiplied by 2 root 3 plus 3 okay so let's apply these things now these um algebra identities if we apply that then we are going to have for the numerator it's going to be a squared that is 2 root 3 squared 2 root 3 squared plus 2ab that is 2 multiplied by a a is 2 root 3 and our b is 3 okay then plus b squared this is where we are now plus b squared and our b is 3 squared all right divided by now the denominator is a squared minus b squared that is 2 root 3 squared minus 3 squared now let's go ahead and solve for the numerator 2 squared is 4 so we have 4 multiplied by root 3 squared this we can see this we are left with just 3 okay plus um for here 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 2 is 12 so we have 12 root 3 plus 3 squared will give us 9 divided by now 2 squared is 4 and root 3 squared is 3 so we have 4 multiplied by 3 all right minus 3 squared will give us 9 so in essence what we have here is 12 plus 12 root 3 plus 9 divided by 12 minus 9 so this is where we are we are at 12 plus 12 root 3 plus 9 divided by 12 minus 9 okay so this is equal to 12 plus 9 will give us 21 plus 12 root 3 divided by 12 minus 9 will give us 3 now to remove this 3 let's factorize 3 from the denominator from the numerator sorry so if we bring out 3 from the numerator 21 divided by 3 is 7 and 12 root 3 divided by 3 is 4 root 3 okay divided by 3 now this you can see this we have 7 plus 4 root 3 so this is the answer without a calculator but if you have a calculator you can actually press 7 plus 4 root 3 and when you do that you are going to get um something like this 13.928 to 3 decimal places thank you so much for watching see you in our next video bye